In this video, I'm installing the Elite wireless electricity monitor. This will go alongside the Sense as well as the Nurio. So yes, I will have three electricity monitors in my panel. Uh, the reason for this is Rona Canada decided to liquidate these. So for under $20, you really can't go wrong for a nice big handheld display. Um, it is an offline monitor, so there's no connectivity, there's nothing fancy. It's just a wireless display that you can keep on your counter or anywhere else. And then this goes in or near your panel, and this transmits data every uh, 10, 15, or 20 seconds. So again, it's not instantaneous, but it transmits it over to this wireless display. Uh, the original price for these are $120 to $150. So again, for $20, I had to pick one up. Runs on six AA batteries. And similar to every single other energy meter, you've got current transformers. So these snap around the cables and plug into the transmitter. I'm at my electrical panel. And once again, if you're unfamiliar with working with electricity, please hire an electrician because this can be very dangerous. Uh, the lines are live. So I will be installing these CTs over the two phases. Unlike, unlike the sense clamps, uh, unlike the Sense CTs, which are nice clamps, and Nurios, which are sp called split core CTs, where you just pull off the top and the bottom, these use a clamp and open it up, wrap it around the cable, and then close it back up again. In the instructions, they don't specify if there's a direction. Most CTs do have a direction, so I'm going to go with what all these other ones have, and that's a sticker needs to face the source. So I'm going to be putting the label towards the source. So here's the first one. And there it is. There's the first one. Now I'm going to install the second one on the second phase, which is the red one. Again, I'm going to do the label towards the source. So if I can get these around. So once you have both of them installed, move the plug, sorry, move the cap on the plugs, and then plug them into the transmitter. Here's the transmitter, and then there's the bottom. Move the little caps. Again, it doesn't specify which one is A and B. I'm just going to go left to right, so phase one and phase two. Now that the wireless transmitter and the CTs have been set up in the panel, I'm going to set up the wireless receiver. History, back and forth, mode set. At the back you have link to link to the transmitter, time and date set, alarm on and off as well an optional 5 volt DC adapter in case you do want to plug it in permanently. Again, three AA batteries. and then hold the link button for two seconds. And it should start receiving a signal from the transmitter. And there it is. Once everything's up and running, hold the time set button. And you're gonna set your time, the month, the year. Next you're gonna hold the set button and set up your system. So voltage should be 120 for North America, dollars, euros, pounds, kroners, etc. How many tariff periods? Keep in mind this won't do weekends versus weekdays, so you can only set up the normal uh, on-peak, mid-peak, off-peak, etc. 
So mine start at 7 a.m. to 11, 11 to 5, 5 to 7, and then overnight, and then all the different costs. So I've calculated these costs based on electricity as well as transmission charges, delivery charges, and other things as well. As well as tax here in Ontario, 13%. Kilograms of CO2, so depending on how your electricity is generated, coal, natural gas, etc. This is an alarm if you exceed this amount in a single day. And then metric versus imperial. And that's it. So to compare it, again, this only gets updates every 10 seconds. And as you can see, the readings are pretty consistent across all three devices. Um, the display lags behind either 10, 15, or 20 seconds depending on what you set it to. So if you're looking for a cheap way to monitor your electricity usage and you can find one at a local Rona, this is a great option.